Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making that submarine beep sound. I'm sure there's a better term than actual submarine beep sound, but you know what I'm talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. So this is the patch because we're all familiar with being in a submarine. All right, so before we even get into this patch, the submarine is not yellow, so I thought I'd just say that at the first thing. So moving on to this patch here, it's relatively easy to make. It's kind of constructed between two different things. The low end rumble is what we did in the previous video of Citrus, making that wind sound, but the difference for this one, if you watched that video before, this X is gonna be quite low, not to give you really a wind sound, but more of that just kind of low end rumble. So moving on to this patch here. So what is this made of? So on the main patch, I kind of have the volume at 53%. You're gonna to have to kind of play around with that, dip, <laughs> play around with that. You're gonna to have to play around with that slider there to kind of mix it into your patch so it's not too loud. The pitch is gonna be up 12 semitones, so one octave, we're not gonna be using any order, but I always suggest to use at least times two for oversampling for the draft, so you can kind of have a better sound of what you're working with there. So working on the first operator, this is going to be a triangle, so nothing too crazy in this one, but we are gonna be kind of contouring the sound a little bit. So this is going to filter number one, so operator one's going all the way down here to filter number one, and then out to effects and to the output. So in filter number one, we have LP2, and we're gonna be going on times two, and then the cutoff is gonna be at about 40, 47%. So on the volume envelope, it's just gonna be a quick fade, so it's a very quick sound. So if we hit the key, it's a different pitch, but you kind of get what I'm saying. That's really it for the wave itself. In the wave shaper here, it's on, but it's not really doing too much at the max volume here because we do want to add a little bit of distortion to this sound as well. Next up where the magic really is, is going to happen is going to be the effects. Because if we turn these effects off, it kind of doesn't really sound like it. So this is where the effects really come in handy. So for this one, let's dive into it. We're not gonna be using any chorus for this. For our first delay, it's gonna be on, and this one's kind of interesting because in the feedback, it's gonna be 17%, but for the time, it's gonna be 10 milliseconds. So we're gonna be taking this off tempo, if yours is on tempo, take it off and put it on 10 milliseconds. So it's a very quick delay here. And for this third slider, the stereo offset is zero, so don't worry about this one. And then the volume is set 50%, and it's gonna be at normal. Delay two and three are not gonna be used. Now we're going to the reverb where this is really kind of where the magic happens for the effects. So the tempo is going to be off. The reverb is going to be on, obviously. It's going to be B plus, so a bright plus sound. The low cut is going to be maybe 86 hertz. Don't really worry about that one too much. The high cut is about 10.56 K, give or take. The pre delay is a 70, which is interesting because the first delay is going to happen first and then the reverb is going to happen right after that. So maybe was a 40 or 50 milliseconds difference in time. The room size is gonna be all the way at the top at 100 because it's kind of a big sound, right? A big reverb, you, want something, you wanna have it in a big place. So the diffusion is all the way at the top and then the decay is gonna be about six seconds. So quite a lot of time for that to decay at. The high dampening is at maybe 2K and then the volume here about 20% and then we're gonna mix that here in our effects, which sounds like this. Now with that wind in the background removed, just having the beep itself, it would sound something more so like this. So definitely the sound, but once you have that background, it kind of ties it in just a little bit more. So on the channel itself here, on the, uh, on the beep itself, we're gonna be using some distortion here, times 100 and maybe about 0.20% or whatever that value is there because it needs a little bit of distortion to kind of give it that grainy kind of broken distorted sound obviously so that's why there's a distortion on here and that's pretty much it for this patch it's relatively easy to make but it's pretty much a cool sound so maybe you can use it in your next submarine song and if you do use it in a submarine song maybe change the color to blue or green or something like that just kind of get rid of the yellow submarine kind of thing let's phase that out slowly as as time goes on anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video